Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forutech. I was using the rise.8.0 from the last few days but we have created a community post 3 weeks back for the installation and review of the new retrofit builds for the Evolution X by Anirin Bliss. But as the new retrofit builds flashing is somewhat difficult for the newbies because the new build cannot be flashed over TWRP or YOT update if you are using the normal Evolution X build except the retrofit builds. So I decided to take a time with the full separate instruction video for the flashing of new builds for the OnePlus 6 and 60. I will upload the separate video for the full review of 25th November build of Evolution X 7.3. Before start the flashing of Evolution X, download all the necessary files given under the video description. Place them in one folder inside the platform tools of the C drive or on the desktop or your device. You need one Windows PC with the latest fastboot driver installed on it. If you didn't have that, then follow any YouTube videos available online. If you are first time going to flash this build, then remember you must be on the Oxonus 11.1.1 or 1.2 build on the both the slots of your device means you need to flash the official Oxonus build two times. And if you are already on the Android 12 custom ROM, then you don't need to flash Oxonus firmware. Your bootloader must be unlocked and the USB debugging enabled in the developer setting. Now boot your phone into the fast boot mode using the advanced reboot or using the volume up plus power button combo after powering off your device. Now connect it to the PC using the cable and head over to the folder where you placed all the downloaded files. So everything is done here now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. I am already on the Android 13 custom ROM so I will skip the flashing of Oxonus 11 firmware. As I told in the intro you need to download the boot image file, copy partition zip, full new ROM zip file, super empty image and the vvmeta image files. Place these all files in one folder now press shift key of your keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Select the open command prompt here from the drop down menu. In the same day now type fastboot devices. Once you guess the device code means device is properly connected to the PC. Now we'll need to flash the VVMeta image on the both the slots of your device. So type fastboot space flash VVMeta underscore A. Now drag the VVMeta file in the CMD to locate its location and hit enter. I have given all the CMD commands in the video description. You can also copy paste them in a CMD window. Now once flashing gets done, you can copy paste the same command. Just change the slot to the B. And again drag the VMeta file and hit enter. Once flashing gets done, in similar way flash the boot image on the both the slots like fastboot flash boot underscore A and fastboot flash space boot underscore B. After flashing the boot images, we need to erase the system ODM and the vendor partitions. So first type the fastboot space erase system underscore A and hit enter. This will take up to the 5 minutes. Once finished, type same command by replacing the partition to the B, like fastboot space erase system underscore B. Now to erase the ODM, type fastboot space erase space ODM underscore A, then type fastboot space erase space ODM underscore B. This will also take some time for erasing the partitions. In similar way, erase the vendor partitions like fastboot space erase space vendor underscore A and vendor underscore B. Once all partition gets erased, take phone in your hand, select the recovery option using the volume up down keys of the phone and confirm it using the power button. This will boot your phone into the new recovery of Evolution X. Don't use fastboot reboot recovery command in CMD because that will not work to boot your phone in a recovery mode. Now in recovery at top, you will see the R as a recovery. Here touch screen is working so you can directly tap on the advanced option or you can use the volume and power button to select. In the advanced option, tap on the enter fastboot. One selected phone will show you the fastboot D mode as the F at the top of the recovery. This is fastboot D mode. Keep phone connected to the PC. Again go to the same folder where you open the CMD window. Here type the new command fastboot space wipe dash super space super underscore empty dot image space and hit enter. This will first wipe the super partition and flashes the new super partition on the device. Now type fastboot space set underscore active space other and hit enter. Repeat these two commands two times to flash the super and set active slot for the both the A and B slots. 
Now in the recovery of the phone, tap enter recovery. At the top, you will see the R for the recovery mode is enabled. Now tap apply update. Select apply update from the ADB. Now keep phone connected to the PC. In the same CMD window, now type ADB side load space and drag the copy underscore partition dot zip file to locate this location and hit enter. On the phone, you may see the prompt as the signature verification failed. Install anyway. Here tap S. In the recovery, you will see lots of files getting flashed. But in CMD window, you may see the flashing percentage got stuck at 47%. Just ignore it. You may get a notification as a X for 1X means flashing is finished. Now again in CMD type ADB side load and drag the full ROM zip file and hit enter. Flashing of Evolution X has been started here. After complete flashing, you may get again the X for 1X notification means flashing is finished. Now remove the USB cable and in recovery, tap back arrow key. There tap factory reset and confirm. Once done, tap reboot to the system. That's it. You will see your phone will boot into the gorgeous boot animation of Evolution X. So we did the flashing of new retrofit builds of Evolution X. Next time when you want to update, just boot phone in a recovery and do the ADB side load and load the update zip file of Evolution X as we did in a flashing of Evolution X in the video. But just keep the formatting step to avoid the data loss. In the next part of the video, we will review this new Evolution X 7.3 25th November build. Until then, if you think I helped you through this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.